All right, today we're going to show you how to put on our uh, ACC side vent pillar post moldings. Um, very basic installation. Um, one of the critical factors, however, is to make sure that your, your surface, your paint, is thoroughly free of wax or any kind of foreign substance. Um, if you've got paint sealants on the car, you might want to take a little bit extra time and scrub this a little bit extra longer. Make sure uh, all the wax and, and things like that are, are gone to check and make sure that you've, uh, you've got a good bond uh, or that you've gotten rid of all that. You can uh, apply a little masking tape. Make sure that you've got a tack. If this had waxes or silicones on it, still, it would kind of fall right off. That would be a clue to tell you to scrub it down again. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, in your kit comes a little packet of adhesive promoter. This is not a cleaner, but it's an adhesive accelerator. It's very critical to a long-term bond that you apply this to the surface of the paint prior to installation. This is going to is what's going to ensure a nice long-term bond. Inside here, there's a little, a little sponge, a little watery fluid. Um, there's probably a lot more in here than you need, so you're just going to kind of take this sponge and you want to squeeze it out just enough so it's wet, and then you just apply this like so. Okay, allow that to dry, save this for the other side. Now, another critical part of this installation is to make sure that your, your panels are exactly matched to the shape of the car. You do not want the adhesive to hold this panel like that. Um, what will happen if you do do that is that over time the panel is going to want to spring back into its normal position and, and you probably end up having this pop out on you. Um, if you think about the fact that metal generally will not bend by itself, uh, if you take the time to contour this to the body, you can expect this to last uh, 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 permanently. So what you do here is you just kind of manually tweak the shape so that you've got a nice contour. Even, even this type of, of uh, spacing right here is not acceptable. You want to take that out. And generally you're going to just kind of twist the panel like so. Make sure that your panel fits and it's perfectly matched. If you do this, you'll never have a problem. Okay. Now, um, the adhesive on this, on these panels, is extremely aggressive. So it's, it's critical that you set this in perfectly the first time. You won't be allowed to set this in an incorrect position, lift it, and try to reset it. You won't be able to do that without damaging the part. So we always suggest that you practice setting it in a little bit. Um, it only takes a few minutes. And it really can make the difference between a, uh, a perfect installation and uh, a real problem. So now that we're, we're perfectly matched, we're just going to peel this off and very carefully set it. Good. Up here. 
Now the uh, the cleaning and maintenance for a, a, a brush pillar post like this is very simple. Uh, I mean, you, you can wash it normally uh, with soap and water. You don't want to apply wax to, uh, to uh, a brushed part. Uh, generally, wax kind of doesn't agree with the grain, and it, it kind of gives it a blotchy, uh, uh, unsightly appearance. So we recommend that you use a common stainless steel cleaner on brush parts, you know, the same uh, uh, product you would buy and apply to uh, your, your kitchen uh, uh, refrigerator or dishwasher. Those usually work great.